Hey everybody, Galusia here, and I am bringing you another Pokemon video with a new setup. Ooh, so I'm not in my office anymore, and I have space. Couldn't do this before, huh? Uh, so if you watched any of my Pokemon live streams or openings before, you might have noticed that I was in a pretty cramped space, and I didn't have a lot to work with. So, um. I got a new gaming laptop so that I can do stuff like this in my dining room where I have obviously way more room. Got a tripod for the camera, tripod for the camera. So I am good to go. And um, I'm going to put up on the screen right now a photo of my haul from Target. Just want to show that off a little bit. Complete score at Target. Wasn't going there for Pokemon, going there for something completely different, but just happened to see them loading up all their stuff and um, waited in line and got it. So cut back to me. Um, so I want to start digging into all that stuff, but that's going to get spread out over a few videos. And before I scored all that in my last video, I made mention of it actually. Um, besides the pre-order for Battle Styles, which we're not there yet, March 19th, I also ordered uh, 14 boosters of Darkness Ablaze, which I have right here. Wow. And I specifically got those to open on camera. And then in that haul because I was limited to only three items per SKU. So I couldn't just grab like all the boosters I wanted to. So I was only able to grab three Vivid Voltage boosters. They had like a hundred of these hanging up. And I swear to you, like I, I tried to grab like 20 and they were like, oh, it's only three per SKU. It was like, oh, cool. And I was the last person. There was a line of people there to get stuff. And I was the last person in line. So I was like, I'm the last one. Like, huh? But no. So I'm going to go through all the Darkness of Blaze. And depending on timing, uh, I may decide to dig into those Vivid Voltage to kind of wrap stuff up. If not, we'll squeeze it into one of the other ones. Because like I said, I have a ton of these things now to open up. And I'm looking forward to getting into all of them. So, but for Darkness of Blaze, um, I am, I have 94 of the cards so far. So, code, fa fa. I gotta get used to my new position. I'm all discombobulated. Dark energy. But yeah, so I think, I, if I remember correctly, I have 94 of these so far. Uh, it's like 48% of the, the set is complete. So I should be able to have a pretty good jump up with the 14 boosters that I grabbed. Now, it's not a full box, so our odds of pulling like a secret rare... Um, go down exponentially, unfortunately. Code. Um, normally, if I'm going to buy cards from like an online vendor, I like to buy either sealed boxes, which is what my um, uh, sealed boxes, like what I have for my pre-order for um, battle styles or... I like to, if it's a rep, like someone that I know I can trust, um, I still like to buy like a full box worth. Like in the last video when I did 36. <gasps> Ooh, look at that shiny blazer. Um, like I did with the 36 Rebel Clash in the last video, um, even though they were the cardboard boosters, like, like these where they have the cardboard backing. Um, I still feel like my odds are improved to get a secret rare, which we did. If you didn't, if you missed the last video, go back and check it out. I, 
accomplished a lot in terms of trying to complete my Rebel Clash set. Got a lot accomplished on that. I don't like this Simapore. It's like he's like in an erotic pose or something. Pokemon should not look as such. Oh, double pull. My apologies. What? Oh, man. But yeah, so after... If you looked at that picture that I just threw up uh, on the screen in the beginning of the video, um, there's a lot of different boxes to go through. You can see in the background of my camera right here, I have my two Shiny Fate trainer boxes. They had like eight or ten of them. But like I said, so I'll tell the story. Because those, there, there he is again. Too erotic. For those of you that are collectors and like try to go to the store to find your Pokemon cards, like if you're trying to find them in retail stores, then you know how difficult it can be. Uh, it's a hot mess. So I may as well tell the story really quick. Don't have that one. Uh, it was actually pretty cool. So uh, it was actually my wife's birthday and she had a coupon for Target for her birthday. You know how like retailers, like if they know when your birthday is, they will um, like send you like a targeted thing. Like, oh, you get five or 10% off your per whatever it is, you know? So yeah, she got sent one of those coupons. So we were like, there was a couple items that we wanted to get we could take advantage of the coupon so we went there pretty much first thing in the morning and when you're first walking most targets are like this and this one is no exception when you're first walking in you right from the door you can immediately like if, if my eyes go to the left like I can see the trading cards and you can get a pretty good shot of the Pokemon cards and instinctually whenever i walk into uh target like that's immediately like i'm just like oh like do they have anything because they never do right <laughs> and i just assume that they never will but you're always gonna look so we walk in code and lo and behold i'm like oh babe i think they actually have something and i start walking closer and i can see that they're actually like actively putting the items out on the displays so i'm like oh my god like they're actually like filling it up and they had probably been at it for like a little bit when i went in there but not for too long like there wasn't a whole lot on display yet when i first went in milton and oh nice butterfree v do not have this yet oh my god I, new setup, so hiccup, I totally forgot my protective sleeve, so any good cards we pull uh, aren't going to get protected immediately. It's going to have to wait until I'm done, because I don't want to get up. I'm kind of like in a position. <laughs> like once I start recording, I kind of don't want to move. Code. So anyway, so as I'm walking closer, I'm like, oh my god, they actually have stuff. They're putting it out, and as I get closer, I realize, I actually say out loud, oh my god, there's a line. And then, like, someone, I, I don't remember if it was someone that worked at Target or if it was someone that was checking out, but, like, someone looked over at me and laughed when I said that. Um, and then, so I walk over there, and there's, like, six or so people, double pull, uh, there's, like, six or so people standing in line, like, just waiting for them to, you know, fill the shelves. So I'm like, oh, my God, like, ooh, little ducklet reverse. Oh my god, and the VMAX. Look at this. Are you kidding me? That is cool. I obviously, I definitely don't have that. Eternatus. Guys, like... It's really cool artwork, and then at the same time, it's almost like it's so... He's so ridiculous that like I can't even make sense of what I'm looking at. Well, these packs are panning out nicely. No, Butterfree, stand up. Don't fall. We still have like plenty to go here. We got a V and a V Max already. 
So anyway, to make a long story longer, uh, I stood in line. <laughs> my, I did, my wife just obviously bailed and went to go do her shopping while I stood in line. And I stood there for probably, uh, code, like 10 minutes or so. And then the Ministry of Target cards came over and they were like, okay, everybody, we're going to have you line up outside and then we'll call you in when we're ready. There's registers like right next to where the cards are. So they were like, we're going to just like, you're going to grab what you want and you're going to just immediately ring out right there on the spot. So I think I probably waited in line outside for like an additional 30 minutes, babe, 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah, like 30 minutes. So maybe like 40 minutes in total. Nice, I needed a Mr. Rhyme and it's the reverse. I'm all about it. And another V. Guys, this is cracked. These Darkness of Blazes are like coming through right now. I'm gonna have to give good reviews to this online seller because they are obviously not doing anything funny with their boosters. I'm getting hooked up right now. Hell yes. <clears throat> so there were these two brothers, code, that were towards the front of the line and this is their job you know, is scalping trading cards, uh, specifically Pokemon. They weren't, it didn't seem like they were interested in any of the sports cards, um, but it definitely seemed like this was their job. I, I definitely think they're collectors too, because just the way he was like chatting with some of the other people in the front of the line, like talking about like sending his, you know, Charizards to get PSA and, you know, like he's got three in his set now, blah, blah, blah. Like, just the way he was talking, like it didn't seem like he was like some of the stuff he wasn't selling. But irregardless, I'm pretty sure that either this was their job or at least supplemental income. Because um, they seemed like they were pretty hardcore about it. So um, they were limiting us to three items per skew or three per skew. So. Um, and they were brothers, so technically they could really get six per skew because they were working together, but they're different people, obviously. Code. So they basically got six of everything, pretty much. Um, so I was lucky to get these two Shining Fates uh, boxes because I think there was only eight, and I think they got six of them. And I was like, oh my God, like for sure, like... There was a couple people in front of me between them and me. I was literally last in line. Um, I thought for sure, like, okay, I'm not going to get these. And that was, like, the main thing of all the stuff they've had that I wanted. Because I haven't been able to open... I haven't opened any Shining Fate stuff, period. Of course, I do a double pull. It's just a Melton, though. Um, and the Elite Trainer boxes were, like, the main thing that... I've, of all the Shining Fate stuff that I can get my hands on, like that was one of the main things that I really wanted. So I was really excited that I got to at least get two of them. Obviously, I would have bought three if there were three available, but that's what I could get. And then there was like the large boxes that come with like the oversized card, like the promo card, and then some normal size promo cards. Um, they let me get four of those. So I thought it was because they said three items, like they ended up having the same skew events. So I, I tried to get two of each character. Um, and they were like, Oh, you have too many of these. And I was like, Oh, like they're different characters. And they're like, yeah, but it's the same skew. So I'm like, Oh my God. So I couldn't get as many of those as I wanted. But then for some reason they still let me get four instead of three. Cause I got two of the Pikachu shining fates. Um, so that was cool. And then I, and then the other two, oh my God, these double pulls are killing me. Um, the other two were, that is actually a really cool. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is this? Yes. Are you kidding me right now? 
this pile of boosters is cracked. We got this golden secret Rillaboom. Oh my god. Look how pretty he is. That is a handsome man. Wow. Oh my god. This is... I've already gotten... I think I've gotten more... No, I haven't gotten more, but I've gotten... I've almost gotten as much like V's, V Maxes, and Secrets as I did in like the entire like 36 pack opening I did of Rebel Clash for these 14 Darkness of Blades. Like this is awesome. That is a really cool looking card. I'm gonna just keep staring at that while I can't even open this pack because I can't take my eyes off that card. That is like especially cool looking code. So anyway, yeah, so I did pretty good. Obviously, you saw all the other stuff that I got. Um, for the most part, I pretty much got three of everything except for the more, like, promote stuff, like the giant binder and the giant uh, booster pack. I just wanted one of each of those just so that I could have it. Um, the giant binder would be cool to keep the giant cards that you get in those, like, promo things. And there's three giant cards in the giant booster pack, so... Um, I figured that would be good. Uh oh, what happened here? How did I screw that up? Whatever. <laughs> um, okay, we're down to the last two for Darkness of Blaze. So I think that went quick enough that we can do the three Vivid Voltage. This is actually like the Vivid Voltage has me kind of nervous. It's like I wanted to grab a bunch of them, like I did, and I wasn't trying to be greedy like i was talking to a guy that was in line in front of me it was pretty funny because he was technically working he was a beer vendor so he happened to be at target like filling up the beer and he's a sports collector um so when he saw that they were putting out cards like he stopped working and got in line to wait so that he could get some sports cards um and he was a pretty cool guy. Uh, so I offered, like, hey, do you want me to just pick up, like, a couple boxes um, so you can get a few more? And he was like, no, I like to be fair and give other people a shot, which, like, in the trading card world, you don't hear stuff like that too often. And whoo, the regular Mr. Rhyme. Okay, actually, I will take that. Now I have both. Um, and because <laughs> my instinct was, like, I'm going to grab, like... 30 or 40 of these uh, Vivid <laughs> Voltage boosters. Like, I don't give a damn. And then I was like, no, he's right. I should leave some for other people. So I ended up grabbing like 10 or 12. And then, of course, I can only buy three. So then I got like hella nervous. I was like, oh, is this the good three? Or did I just grab three garbage? It's only three. Like, obviously, if you're grabbing three of something, like your odds of pulling like a secret rare or something, or even a V are significantly diminished so definitely a little bit nervous this is the last pack by the way so i'm going to take my time for the last pack of these but yeah so we will see because i definitely have enough time to dig into them because it didn't take that long to get through these darkness ablaze drop each theosaurus that is a really cool reverse hollow rare and Womp, 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 womp. But that's okay. Because we did really good in this. So, usually, uh, I wanted to start a trend uh, on my videos where I do, like, a quick before and after. So, you can see, like, how much, you know, where I go, like, from 48% completion to whatever. So, I'll fit those in at the very end for uh, both the Vivid Voltage and for the Darkness of Blaze. Um, but really quick. So... These are all of the commons and uncommons, rares, reverses, nice stack there. Uh, so we definitely didn't do too bad on those. And then I'm going to grab these so we can get a better look because they're just like in the background right now and they're hard to see. But to do the recap here, very, very nice. Butterfree, V, and the Stunk Fist. Funt Stunk Fisk V. The Eternatus V Max. 
which honestly does kind of hurt my eyes to look at. There's a lot going on there. But this golden secret rare Rillaboom for 14 packs. I really feel like we did well on that one. Feel like a winner. But can we really knock it out of the park right now? We only have three vivid voltage out of I'm, I'm I might even be I might even I might be being modest by saying there was a hundred of these. Like there could have very well been like 130, 150 booster packs. They had a lot. Like I've never seen that many boosters hanging up in a retail store code uh to be fair i've never been there like as they were putting them out if i ever saw boosters hanging up it was at some point after the fact so they were pretty much all demolished <laughs> by the time i got there um but it was a lot so out of all those boosters they would only let me get three how lucky are we gonna get here even a V, I would count as a victory out of just getting three packs. And I don't have a lot of Vivid Voltage yet. I think my percentage of completion is nice. And, okay. I think my percentage of completion is only like in the 20s because I've only opened eight boosters so far uh, from a trainer box. We did that on a live stream earlier, which you can... Go back and watch. If you want to specifically see the Vivid Voltage, I believe that the trainer box that I opened, it had eight boosters in it. Uh, I believe that was the very last thing that I opened. So skipping more towards the end of the live stream, you would see the Vivid Voltage stuff. Code. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay, I'm already seeing some repeats. We're only in the second booster. Come on, game. Don't do me like that. Eevee. It's one of my favorite cards from Vivid. The story. Those that know, know. That's a cool looking card. I definitely haven't gotten that one yet. And... <sighs> <laughs> we got one more shot at this. One more shot at glory. Did I grab the right ones? And you know, like, I didn't want to read too much into it. So, um, the people at the register were nice about it because they were like, oh, you can only have three. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping codes. Code. Uh, so they're like, which three do you want? Like, they didn't want to be the ones to pick it, which I appreciate. The fact that they were, like, even conscious of that, you know? Um, but I also didn't want to, like, think too much into it. So I just grabbed, like, the top three. Like, I didn't want to be like, these are the three. You know what I mean? So did we get... A winner. Last pack of the day. We're getting a lot of repeats on the commons. Okay, I don't have that reverse hollow, so that's good. And... Oh, it's sticking a little bit. Oh. You've got to be... Yes. Look at that. I mean, it's not like... It's not a secret rare, it's an ultra rare, but like... We had three boosters to get it done. Three boosters to get it done. And there it is. One of the last cards in the actual numericals before you get into the secrets. 179. Looking all nice and shiny. It's not a Pokemon. It's a trainer. But we will take it. Three boosters. And we get an ultra rare. That is actually a huge win in my opinion. Feel really good about everything that just happened that was a great opening uh hopefully you had fun watching i had a lot of fun opening them that was awesome i could not have 
expected that to go any better than that. So, like I said, I have a ton of that Target stuff to open up. I think we should, we'll probably have at least one more video before the Battle Styles shows up. Uh, I don't know how quickly they'll get here. They come out on March 19th, but the retailer that I bought them from, at least my understanding of it, is that they're actually shipping them out on March 19th. Like, they're getting them in hand on March 19th, and then they're shipping them out. So, I probably can't expect to get it until a week-ish after. Um, so I would imagine I'm going to have at least one more video before they come out, if not a second. Those Shining Fate boxes that were in the background uh, will be the last thing I open from the Target bundle. Um, but so for the next video, I think what I'm going to do... Oh, I have a bunch of tins coming too. <laughs> I forgot about that, babe. Um, I have 10 tins coming from... Best Buy, uh, Pokeball tins. Hmm. I might actually hold off on the Target haul and do the 10 Pokeball tins. But I have three Pokeball tins from Target. So I'll either do the Pokeball tins or we'll just do the three Pokeball tins with a couple other smaller items mixed in from Target. Again, I'm not going to do like everything at once. I'm going to uh, piece it out a little bit. But one of those two things is going to happen in the next video. So join me for that. Uh, I, again, appreciate everybody coming out. I had a lot of fun today and I really enjoyed the new setup. So comment below and let me know what you think uh, of the new setup. It's going to grow and expand with us. This is just to kind of get things started. I have to obviously play with it and stuff. So we'll see, you know, what changes I make with time to continue to add to it. Um, but we haven't been doing Pokemon openings for that long now. And we've already progressed from just this cramped little thing to like, this nice open space. I feel a lot better about it. So thanks for watching everybody. I will see you next time.